Almost everyone has experienced peer pressure before, either positive or negative. Peer pressure is when your classmates or other people your age try to get you to do something. It is easy to give in to peer pressure because everyone wants to fit in and be liked, especially when it seems like everyone is doing it. Sometimes, people give in to peer pressure because they do not want to hurt someone's feelings or they do not know how to get out of the situation, so they just say yes. How do you define peer pressure? Uh, when you don't say anything, but all of your friends are either telling you to like something or they're all liking something and you just want to like it too because they like it and you want to have something in common with them. Can you tell me what? Uh, can you share some of your experiences that you know of? Yeah, I have a lot of experiences with it. Uh, my <laughs> friends will like something and uh, you know I'll like it once I try it out and uh, oh hey, I like it. Uh, but sometimes they'll try something that I don't like, but I'll, I'll say, hey, I don't like it. And uh, they'll, be, they'll be like, oh, but we like it. And I'll, I'll pass it on. It, peer pressure doesn't really bother me that much. Um, what do you think about it? What do I think about it? Uh, peer pressure really is just you want to connect with other people. And uh, sometimes connecting with them includes some things you're not comfortable with or things you don't entirely like. And uh, peer pressure, it's something that it's can be arguably good to make you think, I can have something in common with this person if we like the same thing, and it just so happens, I like it. But it can come to a point where I don't like this, but I want to like it. I want to, but I don't, because I want to be their friend. How does it affect people directly? It can affect people directly, instantaneously. Uh, you have a bunch of friends that smoke, you already buy them, so you say to yourself, I want to smoke too. Because they're doing it, it's cool to them. I want to be their friends, so I'm going to smoke. And that doesn't, that's peer pressure. They drink, they're okay with it, and you know what, I want to be their friends, I'll drink. But it can even be like, they all don't like that person, so I'm not going to like that person. Or that big group likes this, so I'll like this. It's all essentially the same thing where they want to bond with them. It's like a mob mentality. So how would you avoid tips? Avoiding peer pressure is just standing up for yourself. It's asserting what you like, and there's always there's always someone out there that's a friend that likes the same things as you. Uh, maybe they're far away, maybe they're right next to you, they will like the same thing, and they'll agree with you. And true friends will accept what you don't like and what you do like. Peer pressure, it's not something that really is in a friendship. How do you define peer pressure? Peer pressure is when your likes and your peers' likes do not chive. It's it's a clashing between what you like and what they like. Can you share some experiences or that you made? Some of my experiences. Um, there's one experience that I experienced in the Philippines. Um, my friends wanted to eat in this fast food chain, and they wanted to eat in this fast food chain. So there was this pressure that, oh, I want to be with them, but I also want to eat my food. But what I did is that, uh, I bought the I bought the food that I want to eat in that fast food chain, and then uh, I, I brought it to the restaurant to the fast food chain that they're eating. Um, what do you think about it? What do I think about it? Sometimes it sucks. Sometimes it's good because there's good there's positive peer pressure. There's negative peer pressure. Why? Because I ha I have this friend. And he, he has a circle of friends, geeky friends, that um, they somehow have a friendly competition when it comes to academics. It, it pushes them to um, do better and do good in academics. For example, uh, this person does not do good in this class. They would encourage, somehow tease each other that, oh, you're not doing your best, do your best, come on. And then there's negative peer pressure wherein um, you have to conform. Yeah, it's always about conformity, but 
for example, your your friend hurt somebody, your, your friend um, curse somebody or, or whatever, do something bad. And in order for you to become one of them, you try to do what they do to hurt others as well. Um, how does it affect people directly? How does it affect people directly? It's more of being independent. It's it's a question of independence. Like you're you're more dependent on what people think. There's a clash between you and others. What you think and what they think, and you want to fit in, something like that. How would you avoid peer pressure? How would I avoid peer pressure? Yes. I think peer pressure is unavoidable, but there, just like what I said, there's positive peer pressure and there's negative peer pressure. Okay, so it's on you. It depends on how you handle it. How do you define peer pressure? Um, it's when when people around you uh, try and get you to do something. Can you share some of your experiences or that you know? Um, I don't really know. I mean, I guess people, uh, I guess nowadays, trying to get people, uh, other people to maybe smoke weed or something, that's pretty much the only thing I know of. Uh, what do you think about it? Um, I think it has a lot of negative connotations, but I, I think it can, it can still be used for good. Like, you can, I don't know, pressure somebody into, like, taking an AP class and it helps them get a transcript or something, but you, it can also be used for bad. I think we mostly hear about it being used for uh, bad things. Um, we good or bad. How does it affect people directly? Okay, so how it affects people directly is that I don't know, when they need to make choices later in life, maybe they feel like they can't make any choices without a friend's or a family member's input. That's how it affects it. How would you avoid it? Uh, I don't know, I kind of just be like, okay, well, I kind of just tell them directly, like, I don't want to do it. Or if they keep insisting that I, like, try it out or something, I'll probably just, like, stop talking to them for a little bit. How do you define peer pressure? I think peer pressure is um, what we all experience when we're in a situation with a lot of our peers, like you high school students are every day, what, seven hours a day, five days a week. Um, so the pressure becomes just the fact that you're in such close quarters with these people. <laughs> It doesn't have to be exerted consciously or deliberately. It's, it's pressure just by the fact that you're in such uh, intense um, proximity. Um, can you share some of your experiences or experiences that you know of? Um, I went to a very small high school in New York City, and I didn't, I, I wouldn't say I experienced a lot of peer pressure because um, it was a very small and very informal environment. So you weren't, you know, you didn't have people in the hallway looking at what shoes you're wearing or, you know, looking at your haircut or, <laughs> there just wasn't a lot of that. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that? About peer pressure? Well, I think you have to know that we are, as human beings, we're evolved as um, tribal animals. We, we live in groups. So to be excluded from the group is to be in, in risk of losing your life. If you're in a tribal situation and they ostracize you and exclude you from the group, you can't survive on your own, right? So I think on a very deep level, we know that we have to fit into the group because it, it's, it's survival. And it's very primal, it's very, very deep. How does it affect people directly? How does it affect people directly? I think it causes a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, on young people because you constantly feel like you're being judged by other people. Uh, 
and you know it's not just peers it's you know you have social media so even when you're not in school your peers are sort of <laughs> looking over your, each other's shoulders because you're always you know in in contact right so it's 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 not just peer pressure it's just social pressure in general and it's non-stop you know it doesn't it doesn't go away just because you leave school All right um how will you avoid peer pressure would i avoid it or <laughs> how would i advise you guys to avoid it yeah. is nurture a very strong sense of yourself of who you are and it will all just go away the, the stronger sense you have of who you are, what you do, what you want to do, who you want to be, what you believe in, you're in, in contact with your own feelings and so forth, then no one can really shake that externally. You know, it, it, it has, but you really have to have a very strong anchor within yourself. I think that's the key. Navigating through middle school and high school is going to leave you with tons of moments where you're left making decisions. Do you agree with your peers and follow them, or do you just say no? These situations can vary sometimes, but on the negative side of things, it could be anything from skipping class, smoking, having sex, or even getting into fights with other kids. Here are a few thoughts that might run through your mind when you're in these high peer pressure situations. First off, you might think, my friends won't want to hang out with me. There's always this idea that if you're not doing exactly what your friends are, they're not going to invite you to things and they're not going to want to spend time around you. The key to a good friendship is understanding the similarities and differences between you and the group. But by forcing you to do exactly what they want to do, they're not allowing you to be creative and to show off your unique differences. So instead, look for friends that are flexible and won't force you to follow their lead just so you can hang out with them. Your second thought might be, but I don't want to look uncool. I understand. Image plays a huge role. Who you hang out with, what you do, what music you listen to, all of it affects how people perceive you. And sometimes when you don't participate in what's cool, it may leave you feeling like you're an outsider. However, doing what's traditionally cool isn't always what's best for you. In fact, being confident and standing by your values is actually cool as hell. Trust me on this one, a person who stands up for their beliefs and defends them is a certifiable badass. Your third thought might be, but I don't want people to make fun of me. We've all dealt with this before, being called a loser, boring, or any other word that might make the person feel like they're better than you. The truth of the matter is, when someone resorts to calling you a name because you're not doing what they're doing, is simply because they're insecure. Their insecurity is eating away at them, and what they feel forced to do is to make you validate their choice so that they themselves don't feel boring or like a loser. And your forethought might be, I don't really feel comfortable doing it. Now that is a very normal reaction. Something in your gut is telling you, eh, this is not really the right thing for you to do. In cases like this, it may be a number of things. Maybe you remember your parents telling you not to do it. You might see that there are definitely long-term effects that might hurt you, or you just don't really feel compelled to do it. If you feel so strongly against it and you don't think it's something you're going to be proud of, then go with your gut and say no on the simple basis that you just don't feel like doing it. Thank you.